A flat design cheese slice, that's what we're making in this tutorial. There's a link in the description where you can download a starter file to get all these colors and the file that we create today. First thing, I'm gonna create a square using the rectangle tool, shortcut key is M. You can create a square or a rectangle, it can be perfect square or just kind of eyeball it just like that. Now we're gonna add a stroke to this. I'm gonna go ahead and use my eyedropper tool just to eyedropper this color over here. It added it as a fill. To flip the fill to a stroke, you can just click this double ended arrow on the left hand side. Once we have that, I want to change the stroke size to something like 15 points. And then I can hop into the stroke properties and actually adjust the roundness of the corners of this stroke. And along with that, I'm going to select this zoom in a little bit so I can see my corner widget right here. If you don't see it, go up to view right here is going to be show corner widget or hide corner widget if you already have it shown like we do. I'm going to just pull in these corners a little bit to help the inside corner not be so sharp as well. Now before we get too far along, we're going to go ahead and start by drawing every outline of this cheese slice. And I want to do that only on a single layer. And that layer we're going to name outlines. If you don't have your layers panel open, go up to window down to layers to open that up. And we're going to have two other layers. Those are going to well, one's color swatches. So that's a third other layer. But the two other if we add another one here are going to be color and then we'll add a last layer. So we've got shadows and highlights, color and outlines. I'm gonna readjust these and pull the outlines to the top. Underneath that, shadows and highlights. Underneath that will be the color. So make sure you have outlines selected and we'll continue on. I'm gonna go back over here and select the ellipse tool. The shortcut key for that is L. And let's take a few bites out of this cheese. So I'm just gonna draw a circle. There's nothing perfect about this and then Press the V shortcut key for that selection tool, select everything, and then Shift M is the Shape Builder tool. Notice the icon over here. What we can do with this is hold Option or Alt until you get a little minus sign, click and drag through these two shapes here, and it's going to just take a bite out of our cheese slice, just like that. So we're gonna be putting holes in this piece of cheese, and we might as well have a few along the outer edge as well. So we can press L for that circle tool and let's just create a couple more circles out here. Maybe one there, maybe one here like that. Press V, we can select everything by clicking and dragging. Shift M for the shape builder tool, hold option or alt and just drag through these two where they highlight, where they overlap. And it's gonna take a little bite out of the side of the cheese right there. So we've got a couple bites out of our cheese. Next, I'm going to press L again and create a couple circles on our cheese to represent like the little holes that are in it. Just click and drag and hold shift like that. And we can create a couple circles around here, kind of spread them out a little bit. Different sizes. Like I said, there's nothing perfect here. Just kind of create whatever you would like to represent your piece of cheese. This middle one, I'm going to make it a little bigger. So I'm going back to the selection tool. I'm going to find this double ended arrow pull it out a little bit while holding shift and option or alt. And then I'm just going to spread these around a little more evenly. So I feel like they kind of are all across the cheese without being too far apart or too close to each other kind of thing. There we go. So we kind of have our cheese drawn at this point, right? We have the outlines. What I want now is the color. So I'm going to click and drag to select all of these outlines. Press command or control C to copy. You can go down to edit or up to edit and do copy, paste, paste in front, all right here. But I'm just gonna grab that with the shortcut key control or command C. Then I'm gonna go ahead and lock the outlines layer for now. I don't wanna accidentally mess with it. Go down to the color layer, make sure you have it selected. And then we're gonna go up to edit, paste in place. That's shift command V or shift control V. So now we've just pasted the same exact outlines onto our color layer. So what we can do with that is if we select the outer outline, if you will, this this outer shape, we can actually flip it like we did before to make it a fill of the inside of where the outline is. And then what we can do is grab that eyedropper tool and go over and snag this yellow color. So that's going to be the first color of our cheese. And it's underneath the outlines because the outline layer is above the color layer. So now we also have all these little circles in here, I could click and drag just to select all the circles. Now I also selected this color, so I could hold shift to unselect that and or deselect the hat. And then we have just these circles. So I could flip their color to fill their stroke to a fill again. So now we have the insides selected. 
And then I can select the orange color that I've picked out just by using that I key for the eyedropper tool and then selecting this orange right here. So as you can see, we're like well on our way already. So now we have these orange inner parts and this yellow cheesy part. From there, we're gonna be adding shadows and not really highlights on this because I don't want it to look like a plastic piece of cheese. So we're just gonna add some shadows in here. I'm gonna select all of the color and I'm not selecting the outlines because we locked the outline layer. So you gotta make sure that's locked so you're not accidentally selecting everything. I just want every piece of the color here. Hit Command or Control C to copy that. Then I'm gonna lock that color layer, go up to shadows and highlights and do the same thing paste in place. That's going to place it right where it was before. So now I have a duplicate of all the color and we're going to create shadows and highlights out of this. So the first one that we're going to do is basically all of these little circles are going to have a little interior shadow kind of to add a little bit of depth. So to do that, pressing Z and clicking and dragging, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, press V for that shortcut key for that direct or the selection tool. Now, if I move this circle around, it kind of looks like there's only that one circle, but it's because we also have this larger color block. So underneath that is the rest of the color. So this yellow here is kind of hiding the rest of this color layer. That's okay. We're just dealing with these shadows and highlights. We just want to create a few shadows out of these colors and then it'll all come together. So don't worry about not seeing that underneath color layer. But anyway, what we're going to do with this circle is actually hold option or alt and you're going to get this double arrow or double cursor and you're going to be able to duplicate this circle so if we bring it down we can't see it very well so what i might do is actually just adjust that color a little bit like that so now i can actually see it that's just by double clicking this fill and then changing the color now i can see where it's at and i can kind of move this down to where we create this moon shape right here now i want that shape and I don't have it yet. So what I need to do is select this purple layer, hold shift, select this background, and then shift M for the shape builder tool. And now what we can do with the overlap between these two is I can actually just click on this moon shape and that creates that shape. So if I go back to my selection tool, you'll notice now I can just delete this one. And I've got two pieces here now where I could delete this piece and then have this selection right there. So that works out perfectly, and we can change that to our darker color just by pressing the I for the eyedropper tool, snagging this darker orange or whatever color you'd like to make it. And then you'll see this come together here soon after we remove this full color layer right here. And if I just show you that really quick, see how we're gonna get those shadows? That's just me deleting out the yellow color out of our shadows and highlights, so then we can see down to this color. But anyway, what we need to do is create these little moon shapes for each one of these. So if we zoom in, we'll do the same thing. This time, I'm not going to change the color. I kinda did that for you guys. What I'm gonna do is just click and drag a little bit, kinda see where it hits, that looks pretty good. I can hold Shift, select both of these, Shift M for that shape builder tool, just click on this shape and then delete out the rest of the stuff. So we just click on this top circle, the bottom circle, and now we have that piece there. I might be going a little fast for you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and just walk through it again. Click on this circle, we're on our shadows and highlights, hold option or alt, duplicate it down a little bit. We're gonna move it a little bit, it's hard to see, but when you let go, you'll see the outline shift click to select both of these pieces so we selected one held shift selected the other shift m for that shape builder tool and then just click on the piece right here and it's going to create that it's going to split that underneath shape so we go back to that selection tool and we can start to delete out everything on top and to the side and we have this shape here pretty easy stuff hold option or alt click that down we can use our arrow keys even to shift or nudge this into place just like that Select both, shift M, click on that shape, and then we can delete these out pretty easy. And in fact, there might even be, I'm clicking on it, but there might even be an easier way. Let's go ahead and duplicate this down. Okay, we've got this held here. We're gonna shift click there, shift M, and I'm gonna hold option to actually subtract everything but this layer. And now we just saved a couple of steps. So you see guys, even as you're working, and as I work, there's more efficient ways that I find as I work. And sometimes that's just the way it is. While we're doing a tutorial, we find a more efficient way. 
So select both of those, hold Option or Alt, just drag through these two, everything that's not the moon, and it's gonna go ahead and delete them for us. So that actually helps us a lot, makes it real quick. Hold Option or Alt, click and drag, bump it, nudge it to the spot where you want it to have that little sliver of a moon shape. Hold Shift, select both, Shift M, hold Option or Alt, drag through, and we deleted those pieces right on. Now what we can do is click on each of these and I'm holding shift so that everything gets selected and I'm going to just make sure it's that same shadow color. There we go. So we've got little shadows for each one of these. Let's create a shadow across the piece of cheese itself across that back yellow, I guess you would call it. Um, the <laughs> Across the yellow of the cheese, I don't know what I'm saying. All right, so I'm gonna go to the pen tool. P is a short cookie. Look, pen tool's right here. We're gonna click, make a point. It's gonna be inside of this edge a little bit, maybe right in here. And then down here, I'm gonna click again, but we're gonna click and drag, okay? So click, hold, and drag. Drag in the direction that that line was going. We're gonna need to drag pretty far, in fact, to get the angle that we want. We might need to zoom out a little bit for this. So what we want is, for it to kind of come down and across our piece of cheese, right? So I can hold Option or Alt to edit this handle right here and kind of move this back in. So now we've got this swoop across our cheese. So I'm gonna go click down and around to just reconnect this point right there, just like that. Now you can kind of see how we've created this shadowy right side of the yellow. So let's go ahead and actually get that shape out of this. I'm gonna click on the background cheese color, hold shift, click on this new shadowy layer we created. And then of course, shift plus M is that shape builder tool. And here we go, we can do everything we've done before. We can just hold option, subtract this shape, subtract this shape, just like that. Now we have everything that was overlapping right here as a shadow. Let's go ahead and select the color we had as the shadow for the top layer of cheese. Now here's an interesting little dilemma, and this is fine. What we need to do is have this shadow actually underneath these colors of the holes, but over top of the cheese color itself. Well, this color, the main color of the hole is actually on the color layer. So there's no way I can have this layer, which is completely on top of the color layer, be underneath anything on the color layer. So what I need to do is grab this shape and we're going to cut it out of here. So we're cutting it, we're removing it and copying it. Now for whatever reason, we had a duplicate shape underneath here, we can delete that as well. So these are just extra things that were on the shadows and highlights. So make sure all you have are the whole shadows. And then with that shadowy layer over here copied, I'm gonna go over to my color layer. We can lock our shadows and highlights, unlock the color, and we actually want this on top of the cheese color, but below all the holes. So somewhere in here, we're going to paste it in place, edit, paste in place, and just make sure, see it put it on top of everything. So we're gonna drag it underneath all the holes. And you'll see now that brings back the color of the holes on top of this shadow. And then we can adjust the properties of this shadow from an opacity standpoint, maybe down to like 60, just to have it be not quite as saturated, just pull it back a little bit so that shadow's not uh, too harsh, if you will. I think that the outlines of these holes is a little thick. I don't mind this 15 point outline out here, but we might reduce the outline of the holes. So if we go back to our layers, we can lock what we don't wanna edit. So we lock the color, lock the shadows, unlock the outlines, and I'm gonna go ahead and click and drag because we should only be selecting the outlines since everything else is locked. Hold shift to deselect this outer outline. And then with these inside pieces, I'm not sure what point we should go to, maybe something like 10. So we got 10 point instead of 15 point. So I think that these, since they're smaller, since they're interior pieces, they should be a little bit smaller than the outer outline. Okay, last couple things we'll do. We're gonna add another layer I didn't talk about before. Let's lock the outlines and hit the plus button for the layer. This one's gonna be the background, right? So when you're finishing something, if you want a background, it's nice to have just a background layer. I'm going to create a rectangle, the size of our artboard, just by clicking and dragging from top to bottom. We still have that outline, so what we actually wanna do is press the eyedropper key and just snag this color right here. You could switch the outline to a fill and then change the fill to whatever color you want. So we've got that, and then I think we'll add a little shadow 
of the entire piece just outside the edge of this piece of cheese. So to do that, I think I might go to the color layer. So let's lock the background, go into the color layer, and I'm gonna grab this background color shape, and I'm going to press Command or Control C on that. And we could create another layer underneath here, a lot more layers than I thought we would. And if we just call this the cheese shadow, lock the color layer, we're going to paste this in place right on top of everything and just shift it a little bit down and to the right. And we can use our arrow keys to kind of bump that into place. And then from there, we'll go to properties, change that fill to just a black and we can drop the opacity maybe to 25% or something like that. Even, even less than that if you wanted to. Something like 15% might even be better. So now we have a little shadow of our cheese itself. Now, if you want to select all of this and move it around and rotate it, you'll want to unlock these layers. I'm going to keep the background locked so we don't mess with that. But I'm going to unlock all of these and just rotate this everything just ever so slightly. Kind of give it a little bit of character. Lock these layers back up and we created a cheese slice.